Welcome to my channel, my name is Rachel and if you are new here, thank you for choosing to click today's video and whether it was the title or the thumbnail, I'm really hoping you enjoy the content and of course if you are coming back as a subscriber, hey guys, thank you as always for coming back and of course I hope you enjoyed today's video too. For all of you watching, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up, you know I already say it helps the channel and of course it helps this video circulate and just helps the channel grow in general so if you do like today's content, be sure to do that. And of course, I do post Sunday 7 p.m. every single week. So if it's not just this video, be sure to check out some of my other content and I'm hoping you find something there too. So as you can see by the title of today's video, we are doing a what's new in my wardrobe. I always say sometimes it's hard to do like a full haul um, from like different places that I might have shopped at because I tend to pick up like one or two items, things that I might be missing basics that I need, all of those different things. So today we have ASOS, we've got H&M, we've got Zara, of course, and some other bits and bobs in there. It's quite a random mix, should I say, but hopefully you see something that you like. For reference, I'm a UK size eight on top and 10 on the bottom. I'm five, seven in high and a UK size four um, shoe. And as always, like I said, guys, if there's any details you need, they will be below in the description box. This is a try on as always. So with that being said, let's get into it. Just to mention as well, the top I'm wearing, I have actually worn it on my channel before. It's from the K label, which unfortunately are not operating at the moment, but I will try and find similar ones before because I feel like there's quite a few dupes, should we say, of this top. So I will try and link similar ones in the description box as well. So first item I'm gonna start with is actually something where, okay guys, I've always said when you're shopping on Zara, you need to make use of that saved section. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put like a little snippet on screen you need to make use of that section because if there's anything that's ever sold out or you just want it to be reduced, like when you know the sales are coming, it is the perfect place to put things in. Now, this item in question, I had my eye on it and I've been seeing other people wearing it and I said, you know what? The way winter is set up this year, I actually need this, especially when I don't have hair on my head, but it does go with different wigs and different stars I have. Anyway, say that to say it is this hat, which I picked up in a size small. It only comes in a small or a medium. $19.99 and of course it is this one. This hat is so soft and so warm as well. Like, like you can see the lining on the inside. It's kind of got like this bucket style, would I say, but this part does roll down, but to be honest, I quite like it as it's rolled up. So you can get a picture or an idea of how it looks and it is, <sighs> this hat makes so much sense. Okay, if I'm a bit loud, it's because I can no longer hear myself properly. It is so lovely, proper covers your ears. It fits my head, as I mentioned. You could pull it down if you want to a little bit, so you're like super, super covered, but I think this would be such a vibe. If you're doing winter wonderland or if you're doing like Christmas shopping, Christmas is gone now, I just realized. I hope you had a great Christmas, by the way. Um, but if you're like just out and about, you know this is giving you function and fashion. I'm such a fan. And I'm also like, I'm almost a little bit peeved that I didn't get the other color, but I try not to have duplicates of the same thing. So I think black, I will get more than enough wear out of, but this is what this one looks like. Say that to say, size small, obviously in a color black, $19.99, definitely a staple and will keep your head so warm this winter. And you can obviously keep it it for year in, year out. So that was the first item and it comes with a little duster bag as well. Next item is actually not really that season appropriate, but I saw it and I liked it. So I said, you know, I have to secure it. And to be honest, it's one of those things where if you've got events or you are going out, even though with the way life is set up right now, highly unlikely. But even if you want to dress up for Christmas or just be in your house or with me, whatever. When the weather starts getting warmer again, this is going to be a really nice piece to bring out and it will be fantastic on holiday. Picked up in a size small, and this goes all the way to an XXL, $29.99, and it is this beautiful sort of crochet skirt here. The first thing that drew me to the skirt were the colors on it. So you've got like the burgundy, the brown, love the touch of blue there, the mustard. It's a really, really nice combination of colors. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm definitely someone that gravitates to more neutral tones and neutral colors. And I feel like this is a nice mix of injecting a bit of color into it as well as just being neutral. I think it's a really good statement piece without being too like gearish or like out there. And another thing I really, really love are the, um, I guess like tassels, would you say? The fringing sort of tassels on the end of the skirt and you can see the crochet detail at the bottom is slightly different, really, really nice. Now it is crochet, but it's not actually see-through too tough. I think because the knit is quite a uh, tight knit, so you can get away without like layering or wearing shorts or anything underneath. Again, 
this on holiday is going to be 10 out of 10 and i think it would just be really nice to pair a top of any one of the colors on this skirt with it with some heels flats you've definitely got options so this was a very very interesting pick but definitely one i'm excited to wear um, and as i said i picked mine up in a size small the next item i want to show you guys is a favorite this has been a favorite and quite a staple should i say for this autumn winter season and i think it's one of those items where i've seen on so many different sites so many different stores and seen so many other people wearing them and i can't lie the influence has got me so i picked up something that i could find in my size that fit really really well and they are these boots here <sighs> again one thing i love about these sort of hauls where i show you what's new in my wardrobe are is they are items that I'm really, really loving, items that I've obviously kept, items that I'm getting wear out of. And this has been such a nice addition to my collection. So I picked up these boots from H&M. I actually picked them up in a size five. I'm a UK size four, true to size. But when it comes to shoes, anything that is like healed or has a pointed, um, a pointed toe or anything like that, I tend to size up just for comfort. And I would say in the, on this occasion, it's really, really worked out for me. And I'll just hold one of them. So as you can see, it is a croc effect style boot. It is so pretty. One thing I really love about this one is it's not too patent, it's not too shiny. It's in this like faux leather style. Obviously you can see the croc effect, but it's, it's not too shiny. I just love the finish on it. It is a calf length and I love the fact that this is calf friendly, should I say. I don't have the slimmest legs. I don't have like super chunky legs, but I don't have the slimmest legs. And one thing I've found with shoes like this is they're just way too tight on my calf. And typically, you know, when it's like thigh high, they're too tight on the thighs, all of that. So these are really, really good. They fit comfortably. I feel comfortable wearing them. Heel height as well. I'm sorry, y'all, but I am of that age where I'm not wearing heels that aren't comfortable. I appreciate stiletto heel, do not get me wrong, but typically when I wear like heeled boots, I want something that gives me a bit of that extra, you know, lift, a bit of that extra, you know, va -va -vum, all of that stuff. But I do want to be comfortable because um, your girl will be walking. So this is a really, really good heel height. I don't actually know how tall it is or how long it is, but it's a really good heel height. These are ones that I would say, if you can try and get your hands on, um, because they're definitely in style, but you will get wear of this year in, year out. So that was the next item. Okay, going back to clothes for a second and still sticking with Zara. Best believe all these Zara items that I picked up, I only picked them up because I wanted that hat. Imagine. But anyway, I still managed to get some really good pieces. This I picked up in a size large. It's $25.99 and it is this beautiful satin shirt. Now again, it's black. You're not gonna see much detail wise, but I will um, try it on. And of course you would have seen the model picture already. I love the cuffs on these. I really, really like cuff details. And I like longer cuffs as well because it kind of gives you like a really nice streamline, but almost like a balloon effect on your sleeve. So that is really nice. Equally, this is actually a tailored shirt, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what they describe it as on the website. I think I have this in a very like stony off-white color. But I think there are slight differences. But anyway, say that to say, the thickness on this is amazing. Like, it's such a nice thickness. Definitely comes in a little bit at the waist. I picked a large, and I was really mm and eye about if I should get a medium or a large. But I think bust-wise and waist-wise, I think a large makes sense. Visions, in my mind, is with a cute skirt. You can wear it with a satin skirt to kind of get that almost like... Um, matchy matchy feel but equally of course it look really nice tucked into jeans some wide leg trousers it's a shirt so you get the versatility of that but the satin i think just like elevates it and because it isn't as flowy as some of the shirts i've seen i think it just it really just brings the outfit together and it elevates the look so this one should last i'm hoping um and i just love the fact that the buttons everything is one color one material and it just helps give that uniform look so that was the next item i picked up i picked up the next item and straight away i was like there's a lot of black do you know what i think doing youtube has really made me like veer away from wearing black but black is my color i love it so something i picked up that is very reminiscent of my uni days good times great stuff are joni jeans i picked up some top shop joni jeans wow like talk about throwback now for anyone who used to wear joni jeans and maybe hasn't worn them recently i noticed that it was a love and hate sort of thing because people didn't like how like jeggings like it was like a jegging sort of material not actual true denim 
However, these ones, I don't know if it's because they're black. I'm not too sure, but these ones definitely have more of that like denim feel to them. I actually picked mine up in a waist 30, leg length 32. And as I mentioned, yeah, they are Topshop Jonies. I feel like these are classic jeans. And I know this year, the last two years, the season we're in, like skinny jeans aren't really it. I know there's a lot of people who are like, I will never wear skinny jeans again. But for me and my wardrobe, I feel like they are truly a staple. And I just found myself really wanting black jeans. I have black trousers, I have black like fitted leggings, all of that stuff, but sometimes you just need jeans. So this has been a really, really good one. I love the way it fits on my waist. If you're not familiar with Joni jeans, they are very high-waisted, great amount of stretch to them. And as I mentioned, I did get a leg length 32. Not too much to say about these. They are classics, they are staples. As I mentioned, I'm a UK size 10 on the bottom, and I think a waist 28 might have been too small. I don't have hips, but there's a little bit of something going on there. I think it would have been a little too small. Um, but yeah, these have been a great, great, great addition to have back in my wardrobe. As you can see, I have worn and worn and worn them since I bought them. Um, so yeah, glad to have these back. And I would definitely say try them out. ASOS do them, of course, so it's easy to return and all of that stuff. But I would say try them out if you are looking for nice stretchy accommodating black jeans okay trying to break up all the items and all the black is this next item that i picked up from asos they are a pair of converses um something i would say with my shoe collection is i'm all for function and comfort i have heels i've shown heels to you guys on my channel before but i'm very much the sort of person where it's like even if i'm gonna have a very casual sort of like chill day out whether i'm shopping running errands whatever it may be I just like, I don't know, I just thought I needed shoes that kind of complemented those outfits as well. I mean, I'm genuinely not always in heels, so. These converses I picked up, these are the, I'll have to put the name down below or on the screen if I remember to do so, but they will be linked, of course. And they are these. I think they are so cute. They are so, 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 so cute. They're so simple. These ones I haven't worn yet, so hence me just holding them and gripping them as however, basically. These I think are a great addition to my wardrobe just because of what I just said. I needed something that was comfortable. I really, really like the whole platform trend. I don't know what it is. I think it does add that extra layer of comfort because your, your sole is a bit more cushioned. But anyway, talking of cushion, this is so, so plush and comfortable on your feet. I picked mine up in a size 37, but it's actually a 4.5. Converses are a bit weird with their sizing and you really have to kind of, you kind of have to test your luck. I bought these through ASOS, as I mentioned. So I would say if you're in between sizes, maybe get two sizes and try them out. The only reason I need to get a 4.5 is because my sister, even though she's a four, has a slightly smaller size four. Um, and when I tried those on, I was like, yeah, I need like a size up. Anyway, so that to say, if you're in between sizes, you might want to order two sizes. Of course, you can return it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's a bit difficult to know what will work. I love these because obviously they are more of the high top style in the classic black and white. Very, very comfortable in a platform style as well. I appreciate these may not be everyone's taste, but they just go really, really well with so many like dressed down outfits I may have. But because of the style of shoe it is, it does still look a bit more like you've put effort in, essentially. Great price. I think I actually managed to get it when they were doing an offer. Um, but I think they retail for like maybe 70 or 80 pounds, not too sure. But yeah, these are really, really nice. A good addition. Not too similar to anything I have already as well. So that's always a plus. Um, but yeah, this was, these were the other pair of shoes that I've picked up very recently. Okay, to round off this haul, some last bits that I picked up from ASOS. Something again that I have just been looking for and unfortunately Zara could not cater to me because Zara as much as I love them And I feel like I found my sizing when it comes to this item I just can't find ones that fit and they are very very simple Faux leather leggings now this I picked up from the collusion brand on ASOS. I picked mine up in a size 8 regular I think they do petite regular and long which is really really good. I always appreciate um that sort of accommodation for people like different sizes different leg lengths these are so basic that i cannot believe it's taken me this long to have a pair however something that i noticed when i was shopping is sometimes you get the faux leather leggings that are like too shiny it's different if they're like vinyl or if they're like coated but if you're just going for like classic basic basic uh, like leather look leggings sometimes it can be hard to find that right finish 
These I will definitely say size wise are absolutely fine. They do look a bit bing, like bin baggy on the screen, but I promise they do not look bad. The thing is, as I mentioned, shops like Zara and just different stores don't really accommodate for the size of my waist to my bum to my ankles. Like I have kind of skinny ankles. So it's hard to find a good pair. Um, but these were definitely a bargain. I think they were like under 15 pounds if anything. Um, so yeah, that was something else that I picked up that I just felt like my wardrobe needed. Now last but not least, I wanted to show you guys some accessories because I too want to be that girl, okay? I too want to elevate my looks. So some glasses that I picked up again while I was shopping on ASOS are uh, these pairs. I'm actually going to put them on for you just so you can see. Now sunglasses I feel like are so subjective because it's definitely due to like, it's down to like what your style is, your vibe, what you like, the look of, so many different things. So for me, when I'm shopping for sunglasses, I appreciate I can show it to you guys and you like, might be like, what the heck Rachel? Or you might be like, oh, okay, I'm feeling this. So hopefully you're part of that second part. Anyway, I think these ones are an ASOS brand or ASOS owned, should I say. Um, and they are these glasses here. Now, I just think these are a vibe. I love the fact that the lens isn't like black. It's kind of like that um, orangey, almost like amber color. Really, really nice, but will still obviously offer you some protection. And then as you can see, they're in this lovely sort of square rectangle shape with a sort of like see-through green. I think they are so cute. Now I'm gonna try them on and try not to mess up my hair as I do it. But I think, I'm hoping they just give you vibes, energy, vibes. I love the fact that you can still see my eyes. Like it's more of a, oh, I'm not trying to hide. I'm just trying to accessorize my outfit. Super, super cute. Love the clear frame or the clearish sort of frame. Love the lens color. So those were the first pair um, that I picked up. All right, another brand that I found whilst I was on ASOS. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Is it Sphinx or SVNX? You can see it just there. Now these are definitely gonna be level hate, but I don't need any hateation, hateration, all of that stuff in the comments. Thank you. If you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. But I thought these were proper giving me like 90 sort of vibe. I know they're gonna be Marmite, but I think they are so, so cute. And okay, this is not really helping. I should really just pop off the tag to be honest because I'm definitely keeping them. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I just had to cut those off and I was like, you know what, the way I'm moving, I might break these. I'm gonna leave the sticker on for now. But as I said, I feel like these just give me vibes. I'm a fan. What do you guys think? Because as I said, they're obviously small, they're not offering you the most protection. And I know some people like those really big, bad B glasses, but I think these are super, super cute. And I love the fact that they came in a set as well. So you've got this sort of like brown tinted lens. And then you have these ones, which are more that like reflector sort of style, which again, I think are super cute. Now, obviously it depends on your outfit. It depends what you say in. These were a really, really great pair. Um, check them out. Of course, if you're interested, I will link them below for you guys as well. And then last but not least, kind of stick into that squarish sort of frame. I was really, as I mentioned, I've got like sunglasses that have more of a black rim, black frame, the typical sort of sunglasses, would you say? So I was looking for things that were slightly different. And again, these are not similar to the first ones I showed you, but again, you can see it's that sort of colored clear frame. Love the lenses, see-through, but not like fully uh, transparent. I'm a fan. So these ones as well. Yeah, this is giving me energy. This is giving me vibes. Okay, I should cut this off really, but it is what it is. Um, as I mentioned, I know some people be like, it's winter, you have sunglasses, but sometimes the air, like the outfit calls for it and that's the energy I wanna give. And of course, for practicality and function, if you guys drive as well, then you know sunglasses are always gonna be very useful in those situations. But sometimes you just wanna accessorize even in the winter. So guys, that is the end of the haul. And as I mentioned, I really do like doing these ones because these are items that I've recently added into my wardrobe and items that I genuinely love. As much as I love doing hauls, do not get me wrong, Sometimes it's really disheartening when you buy an item that you think you're gonna love and then you try it on and it just doesn't make sense. So these are items that I have been loving, that I have been wearing again and again, like the jeans, for example. I need to take a break, but it's nice to have items in my wardrobe that I know I can get use out of, things I can mix and match with items I already have. I've said it so many times on my channel, but 
to me, if you're gonna buy new pieces, it's all about making sure it fits into what you have already and making sure that you can actually wear them and get use out of them and feel good in them as well. So these are items that I have been loving. Shout out to ASOS because I feel like a lot of the times it's like hit and miss, but this time round for me, I find it hard to shop on their website. But for me, I, I was finding some gems. So as I said, everything will be linked in the description box below. Hopefully you've seen the try and portion, you see how it might work for you, but do let me know if there's anything that you end up picking up or if you've got any similar items as well. As I mentioned guys, you can catch me Sunday 7 p.m. every single week. So I hope to see you then, but until my next video, stay well, stay blessed, good vibes only, and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Bye.